Okay, so out of the handful that I have, electronic quarterbacks probably in the best shape. So it's probably a good place to start looking and see how these things work. Plus, it's probably the more ubiquitous. Uh, the football games, uh, EQ and then Mattel's uh, Football 1 and Football 2, uh, were probably the best sellers out of this whole like era of handheld games from the late 70s. Um, but as you can see, it's a little, uh, it's supposed to be kind of a light cream color. So obviously age has kind of gotten to it there. A little retro bright would take care of that. But I don't know if I want to do that because the color's close. Uh, the color is close uh, and there are um, stickers that are actually intact here on the back. And of course, my favorite, the uh, ubiquitous try a new battery if game malfunctions. So anyway, so we got the little embossed Glico mark there. Uh, that's it looks like acrylic on the screen or making the screen. Um, so these were interesting because they were LED. Uh, they were based on LEDs at a time when LEDs were, you know, new hotness really. Um, yeah, they've been around for a little while, but very expensive and. You know, there weren't a whole lot of practical applications yet. Uh, pocket calculators, um, and then, well, one of these guys. So, some big beefy screws up in here. I don't think these screws have been removed in 40 years. Oh yeah, pretty sure this hasn't been opened in 40 years. You can see on there, that's actually the color that the plastic should be. It's that kind of white cream color. I see that the inside's probably also that color. They don't even like self-tapping screws. They just they just drove them in there and, and hope for the best. Fit the thread right. Okay. So, ooh, ooh, that's not good. I don't think I don't think there's any traces right there, so I guess that's okay. But that's definitely not good. So you can see the um, the um, screws actually went through the board here to hold it in place. A little touch of corrosion there. That come off. So, there's our little acrylic screen. Uh, I don't really need to do anything with that except maybe wash it, clean it. Um, there's a little slider for that switch. There's a little slider for this switch right here. This switch was a little loose. I may fix that later. Um, yeah, it looks like everything else. And so there's little, little pegs that push down on That's interesting. They're like, they're not quite membrane switches. They're, um, they're stamped metal. The switches are, they're, the tack switches are stamped metal. That is a very old design. Um, no matter what, no matter what we end up calling it. Okay, so, uh, so that's attached onto there. That's our control board. I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, there we go. Coleco 1979. Little piezo element, piezo speaker right here that has apparently seen better days. Um, interesting, they just melted the plastic to hold it down. They probably just hit that with a soldering iron just to hold it in place. But the speaker's not working, so I'm thinking. Um, I think the wires may need to be replaced. The whole thing may need to be replaced. The solder is good on this side. Good old leaded solder, I'm sure. Um, the battery contact is good. Um, that doesn't need any work. I just barely missed that trace right there. So that was luck. 
Um, let's see. That's really all there is to see on that side of the board. What we have inside, we have our, uh, this is our LED matrix. And they are they're little seven segment LEDs. Um, interestingly enough, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them in this display, nine by two. So you can get one, two, three, four, five, six positions, theoretically. Maybe there are only four. Have to look and see. We got a handful of transistors here. Uh, I like how they're actually. They're actually, this is so nice, like they're labeled so nicely. They're actually labeled uh, base, collector, and emitter. That's very interesting, uh, emitter, base, collector. That's actually really interesting. And then all these resistors. Let's see, and then what do we have up here? Uh, let's see. Texas Instruments. TMS 1100 MLL MP3415 YE8022. Not sure which of those is actually the name of the chip. I'll have to look that up. And then uh, these are 74492N. That is essentially it. Um, now, as for um, working on this thing, as for doing any kind of you know, the only thing that i i really saw that needed to be worked on here uh, was this switch it just needed to be kind of felt a little loose a little janky a little wonky maybe play with that some but all in all this is actually uh this thing actually is in pretty good shape um i have to see what's going on with the the other games I have. Now granted, I could do all this on an Arduino and call it a day, which I may end up doing anyway. 